With over 400 stores nationwide, Bell's Outlet is growing faster than ever. Now shop our newest store in Melbourne at the grand opening celebration November 2nd through 5th. Discover more brand name fashion for the whole family, plus home decor up to 70% off department store prices. The first 150 customers each day, November 2nd through 5th, get a mystery scratch-off card for a shopping spree up to $250 at the new Bell's Outlet in the Post Commons. Doors open at 9 a.m., 10 a.m. Sundays. Blog Talk Radio. Hi, everybody. Welcome to a new episode of Conscious Cool Chic Radio with Molly McCord. Um, Because I haven't been doing this show, the intro isn't starting right away. So I always take that momentary, is it going to happen? Is it going to happen? No. So uh, the typical music is not going, but that's okay. It gives me more time to get started and dive into this information that we're going to talk about today. And this topic is so important right now. And I hope it's why it grabbed your attention, it piqued your interest. You said, this is worth my time. We're talking about spiritual awakenings, soul growth, and the feminine archetype. Now, needless to say, that's a huge topic. Um, There's a lot that we can talk about with this information and many tangents. But what I really want to focus on is you connecting with this energy within yourself. Because that is how each of us truly feels powerful, confident, self-accepting. It's how we really see ourselves in all of our light, in all of our glory, in all of our pure essence. And I want to start by recognizing the struggles and how hard things have been. And I just want to give you a moment to exhale, to just release, to check in with your body, with yourself. Are your shoulders tight? Are your muscles clenched? Like where in your being Have you been holding, holding, holding more than you need to? And if you can just allow yourself a breather right now, it's going to make all the difference. So just uh, exhale, release. Just give yourself that moment. To decompress. If nothing else, give yourself that moment. We get into these modes, right, where we're go and go and do and do and, you know, there's the overwhelm and there's the long to-do lists and there's the fact that time is moving so fast these days. And so it's looking at yourself and looking at you And where you can just let it be. And picture whatever you're carrying is just sitting over on a desk. Or it's floating away. It's releasing. Now, one of the most important things we have happening in our lives is this forward push right now. It's a push for change. It's a push for that new thing in your life. And you know what it is. It's a new job, new relationship, new project, new home, new something, right? Maybe it's a new feeling. Maybe it's that sense of I'm I'm ready to enter a new state of being. And so it's important to recognize that right now where you're at is a pivotal time in your growth because by simply having the consciousness to recognize what you want to head towards, what you want to create is important. That gives you a way to direct the energy forward. It gives you that 
understanding that you've been opened up to more on some level of your being. And that opening is a signal that you're ready. In my personal world, maybe you can relate to this. Um, Back in last fall, um, my husband and I were talking about moving. And we hemmed and hawed and yes and no and yeah, I'm pretty sure I want it. And yeah, you know, let's let's look at the logistics. How does that fit together? How would that change happen? Um, and, and so that was around November. And it's been this back and forth. And in that back and forth time, it's allowed me to become clearer about what I want next. Now, I live in Seattle. And this is my hometown. This is where I'm from. But I've always moved away from Seattle. And then I've always moved back. And whenever I come back here, I get the sense that there's more I'm meant to. Um, it's, it's a grounding energy for me on some level. It's a return to something I'm supposed to um, finish up, like finish up business, finish up something. There's always feel like I'm, it's loose ends or stuff getting tied up finish, complete, and then I move forward to the next adventure. And so what happens is that we get clues and, and, and those nudges from spirit when doorways are opening, when we're ready to move forward, when you're finishing up something and then you're ready to go forward. On some level, you know that and you sense it and you feel it. And it's out of your comfort zone. And you can require time to process it, to sit with it, to meditate about it, to daydream about it. You can be given time to decide if that's really what you want or if it's something else. So as my husband and I were um, you know, talking about this move, it finally became more solid this month, June. So started back in the fall, um, allowed you know time to play with it, consider it, think about it, what do we want, what does it look like? And then in June, this month, it really took off. The pieces really took off. So there was that in-between time to work out the knots and get clear about the energy. And so what I want you to look at in your life is how you are getting clear about what you want, getting clear about what you believe in yourself. And if you're recognizing that you can create exactly what you want, even when it's not for certain yet or it hasn't come together yet, the, if you're in a lull, if you're in a period of, you know, lacking clarity or uncertainty or you're stuck, this is when your assignment, your work is to write a list, um, create a vision board, uh, daydream, like, like make that your assignment that you get clearer because spirit is moving through you and your soul is moving through you and it's all opening you up to more than what you've experienced yet or more than what you've had before. You know, in, in the world of of spirit, there's always more. There's always a different adventure, a new experience, a better job, that, that state of you can have it all. The feminine archetype allows and opens and flows and trusts. Are you doing that? Or are you holding on and you're grasping and you're tight and you're clenching and you're afraid and you're trying to overdo it? Because that is most certainly part of how we, I would say, survive in our culture, in our world. It's almost like you know you can't check out for a long amount of time. Um, here in the United States, it's a 
documented facts that people are afraid to go on vacation because they don't want to fall behind. They don't want to lose, um, you know, what they're doing. They don't want to lose their job or, or, or miss out on something. It's, it's this mindset that we have that is our own worst enemy. And yet, when you really step into the flow of spirit and the flow of life, you actually open up to the powers that are greater than you. We get distracted from them. We get detached. We get busy. It's like we're looking down you know, or, or typing away on the keyboard or we have our hands on the steering wheel. You know, we're, we're very much in our human selves, which is wonderful. But there comes a time when we have to just recline Sit back, release, take a deep breather, and come back to center with what you really want. And if you are allowing spirit to flow and move through you, now, one thing that happened here for um, this move that's underway for my husband and I and my and our family is that we visited um, where we're going to be moving to, which is Florida, very different than Seattle, um, and we visited there um, to get a house and to get you know check it out and just make sure you know you, you want to sometimes it's it's great to do that and um, so many amazing things showed up in the only two weeks we were there made friends, um, found an amazing place. The first place I called was the home we got. Um, And it was even one of those places where I thought, oh, I would love to live here. I don't know if it's going to happen. I'm just going to try. And it happened, right? Things you can't plan. Um, we, We had so many lovely things showed up for us. And that's because when you are preparing to make a change, and you're sending that energy out, when you're sending that energy forward with your intentions, that space starts to adjust and to create the energy you need to be welcomed there. So take this understanding and apply it to the relationship you want. Apply it to a job, apply it to a project, apply it to anything outside of your comfort zone. And look at how you can absolutely create that when you are allowing and flowing and moving with spirit and with your soul and with trust in the universal supplies. I would say that um, this time on the planet is a really interesting time for feminine energy. And it's confusing. It's kind of awkward. It's, you know, we're, we're more empowered, educated, intelligent. Um, we have more options and choices than ever before. And yet, there's times when we have to step back and we can't do it all and we can't can't expect ourselves to do it all. And it takes huge doses of faith, continual faith, to keep going. But we've also seen how things have played out when we've tried to be too in control or to have power over others excessively or the domination or you know all these energies that um are how would i say this are great teachers <laughs> and have brought us great lessons and yet maybe have kept us smaller and have tied us down One thing that I have appreciated so much from so many of you is hearing your stories. 
and hearing how you have created a job, um, a dream, how you have moved to a new location and it's been the perfect fit for your energy, how you have tried something that initially scared you, um, how you've traveled, how you've opened up, how you've said, I want this business, I want to create this lifestyle for my family. Um, There's so many of you who have had that experience. And it's important to remember the successes you have had, what you have done well, where you have excelled, where you have manifested. Because that shows you that, yes, you absolutely have those abilities. They're within you. They're an integral part of you. And it's a key element of being feminine and being the female energy on the planet because we create. Now, men create too, absolutely. This is why it's about the archetype. Um, Men and women both have the feminine archetype within them. It's our creation. It's how we really take our unique spark and make it into something that we offer the world. And that could be through so many different forms. One of the reasons why we are all on the planet right now is to create a better energy signature here. You know, we all said, I want to be here at this time. I want to help humanity. I want to contribute. I want to offer my creativity, my inspiration, my love through me to others. And that's also part of our soul growth because we're doing it in ways we haven't done before, which is why we have these damn struggles (laughs) and why things maybe have been challenging and hard. It's no easy task. None of this is easy. Know that you're not alone with that. You're not the only one. You're not really that one who is out there doing it all by yourself. There's so many of us who are doing it. And I have no doubt that each of us can create our dream life in this lifetime. I truly believe that. Um, I think that we really signed up for that challenge knowing that it would be difficult, knowing that there would be hardship. Um, Our souls knew that before they came in. And we said, hell to the yes, I want to be there. Heck, yeah, I want to be a part of that experience. And it won't be easy, but it will be amazing, and it will be incredible. So know that there are these phases we go through of the hardship, of the struggle, of the difficulty, of the fears, of the doubts. Uh, Take your pick. (laughs) Maybe it's all of those. But as a soul, we each said, I want to contribute and be here in this way because I know it's going to help others and it's going to help my soul growth. And we're really tapping into more of our power than ever before. When you look at your life and you look at where your biggest struggle was or your deepest fears, maybe it's the most emotional turmoil, it's that one relationship you can't let go of or that keeps you spinning, or it's that one um, part of your life that you feel like you are just constantly trying to figure out or come to terms with. Maybe it's your body, and you've been through some big things with your body, whether it's 
disease or, or weight or um, you, you know, something where your body has been a teacher for you. Your body has shown you more about yourself than you ever could have realized on your own. Perhaps it's been through relationships with others where you felt that you were disempowered, your power was taken away, someone else was 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 more dominant, was, you know, the one in charge of you, or you felt like you could never get out from underneath them. Maybe you've had the experience of losing everything on some level, of doing a deep dive into this, you know, cave that you feel is never ending. Maybe it's like, this understanding that you know you're here for a spiritual purpose, that you you have more that you can offer people. Maybe your struggle has really been about um, soulmates and relationships and where is that person? Or you thought it was this person, but it wasn't. It was someone else. I mean, it's it's amazing how every area of our life is a teacher, One thing that came to me um, back in April was how many amazing stories are out there of overcoming what you thought was insurmountable, of tapping into a deeper well of strength within yourself, a deeper love, a deeper forgiveness, a deeper compassion than you thought you were possible of than you thought was more than you could experience or perhaps survive. And so one of the things that came through me um, from spirit was how it could really be that conduit for you to share a story, to share where you thought you were weak and then you realized how damn strong you are. Or you were so afraid, and then you realized how effing brave <laughs> you really are, and that you had more courage, and you had more power than ever before. It's that sense of you you thought you were brought to your knees, and it was all over. And then it's just a new, beautiful beginning takes place. And I've heard a lot of these stories um, for many of you, through astrology, um, just through some of our personal conversations, um, through social media. Um, so many of you have really inspiring stories. And so what I was guided to do was to launch a book project that opens all the doors to anyone who has a story to share that they know can support other people. Um, The energy of this project has been really overwhelming. There's been some incredible contributions and submissions so far. Uh, You do not need to be a professional writer or an author. You do need to have a well-written essay, and you need to have it proofread and well formatted and you know it it needs to be well done Um, but this is an opportunity for you to say yeah I've been through some things or I lived through something that was so hard but I somehow found the strength to get through it and move to the other side and people are craving these stories right now because of how much struggle and hardship um, people are going through. You know, you think about people who are just awakening, who are just starting to get curious or to ask the bigger questions about spirit, who are looking for more information. And they don't know where to turn. And they don't know what to do with it, and they feel so alone, right? I'm sure you can relate to that. I think that's something we can all relate to is that sense of, oh, feeling so alone at times. And, you know, that's 
good. We are meant to be alone at times. Um, We are meant to go through the journey on our own because that's how we see how strong we are. That's how we see how amazing we are when we get through it to the other side. There's nothing wrong with that. But then when you do get to the other side of it, you have wisdom to share. You have inspiration to share. You have energy to offer people that they really need and they're just craving. So I was guided to put together this book project. Um, The website is modernheroinesoulstories.com modernheroinesoulstories.com Check it out. If you're hearing this after the deadline, send me an email. This is open, my friends. This, you know, there's a lot of book projects out there that are exclusive. This is open. This this has like this opening because there's a bigger energy moving through it than you or I. We're just each conduits for it. Um the other part of this project is that it's the all proceeds are being donated to Women for Women International, which is an organization that helps women with business training, education, literary skills, um, community leadership. It's an organization that gives women the skills to better their lives, better their family lives, better their community. These are all women who have survived war, the worst possible things in life. So you and I are donating our stories. We're paying it forward to readers, and we're paying it forward to women who are improving their lives, and we are creating an amazing ripple effect around the globe. And this, my friends, is how we use the power of feminine energy to ignite change and to support one another, to take care of one another's hearts, to inspire one another, to remember that we're all connected and that we are each a force of nature. So you can check that out, Modern Heroine soulstories.com. There's also a link in the radio show description. And I also put together a free webinar that talks about addressing the five common fears of writing from your soul. So if you're interested but you're feeling, oh, I'm afraid, check out this webinar. If you are called to this project, please trust that. Please trust that. It's so important to return to acknowledging ourselves and our strengths and what you have experienced, how you have grown. Look back on your life and where you were one year ago, two years ago, five years ago. Look at how you are this new version of yourself. And allow yourself to feel confident in what you've experienced, in what you have figured out, in what you have solved, in what you have decided, and where you have made good choices. Give that to yourself. That is one of the most powerful gifts we can give ourselves. And it's also what's going to help you moving forward. It's also where you're going to create these next amazing parts of your life. Now, as I shared with you, um, this move that my family is undergoing has a lot of great things showing up that I couldn't have planned for, (laughs) that you don't get a heads up about. You just have to move into that space and things meet you there. I'm really excited about this life transition, um, and it's helping me step out of my comfort zone for some things that I have in the works that I want to offer you. So we're all 
being pushed forward right now, okay? And we're all being urged to do a little bit more, try something new, and and to step out of those comfort zones while allowing spirit to guide us, to move through us, and to flow forward. So please know that you are connected to that energy and you contribute to it. You are a part of it. You are the living, breathing part of it. And I hope that this helps you love yourself and your strengths and your wisdom even more. I will be back with a new show soon. Check out Modern Heroine Soul Stories. And in the meantime, I wish you the very best, my friends. Talk to you soon. Okay, keep your eyes closed. Okay. I want to show you my first ever painting. Ooh, all right. Okay. Open your eyes. Oh, that's a lot of colors mm-hmm. <laughs> and shades. So be honest. What do you think? Well, uh, I like how if you switch to Geico, you could save hundreds of dollars on car insurance. Oh, yeah, that's that's true. Yeah. Here, why don't I hold your paintbrush while you call them? Geico, because saving 15% or more on car insurance is always a great answer. With over 400 stores nationwide, Bell's Outlet is growing faster than ever. Now shop our newest store in Melbourne at the grand opening celebration November 2nd through 5th. Discover more brand name fashion for the whole family, plus home decor up to 70% off department store prices. The first 150 customers each day, November 2nd through 5th, get a mystery scratch-off card for a shopping spree up to $250 at the new Bell's Outlet in the Post Commons. Doors open at 9 a.m., 10 a.m. Sundays. 